This is a Casio approved. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, hey. we are here today with guest Larry Dunn and his beautiful wife, Louisa Dunn. And uh, first of all, I'd like to do a shout out uh, thanking Persona speakers for uh, allowing the use uh, for today. And we're here with Intertalk Radio and Caffeine TV, and I'm Kayleen Peoples, the editor-in-chief and founder of Agenda Magazine. So, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's your experience been so far at NAM? Uh, for the last 15 minutes, awesome. <laughs> that yeah. was a beautiful piece you just Thank played you there. So, Thank you. You know, all of the Earth, Wind & Fire music is so iconic. I mean, your first chord, everybody immediately knows the song, and a flood of emotions come whenever I hear even the first two or three chords of a tune, because it brings back memories. Amen. So, um, what's going on with you? Are we doing something? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, I... Uh, I joined EWF when I was 17. Actually, eight, I just turned 18. Philip Bailey and I, Andrew Wolf, all, all grew up in Denver. And so that, uh, needless to say, what a ride. You know? And so the group kind of disbanded in 80, what, 83? That's when we got together. And um, so as soon as we got together, we opened up Source Productions, and we started doing um, a lot of writing, a lot of uh, Japanese commercials. Oh, wow. For Japanese television, which was it was an awesome experience because, you know, unfortunately, we have always lived in a time where people categorize you from whatever musicians, uh, skin color, age, different things. But doing the music for Japanese television, we did uh, jingles for Mercedes Benz, the Mercedes of Benzo, <laughs> Mercedes Benz, um, Shiseido. Uh, Mitsubishi, Eclipse, Subaru, and it was so great because we would just stay at home in the studio. And a lot of it was a competition. We had people like Daryl Finnessy and writers in California, Japan, different places. And uh, so we'd do a demo, and you send it to them, and you wait for the phone to, to ring. The, the competition said, you guys win. So we'd put it together, and then uh, you send it to them. They were well, kidding me change the base or whatever. You do it, you send it to them, they wire the money in your bank and you stay home. Uh, but it was, we did everything from straight ahead classical, her and a good friend of ours, Beppe Cantorelli, did a straight ahead opera. Oh, was, wow. That was for Subaru, right? And uh, we did some jazz hip hop, we did, uh, uh, B. Lloyd Taylor, who wrote Getaway for Earth, Wind & Fire and a bunch of stuff, did a perfect uh, Louis Satchmo voice. Oh, wow. And so we did, they love that, that there. <laughs> and um, so we did three or four of those. And it was, it was just such a great experience because we did all types of music. Because people sometimes, if they think, well, he was with Earth, Wind & Fire, so we probably do R&B or pop. Hey, I was beating on a piano since I was two years old. So if it's music, we do it. You know what? And that's pretty much my philosophy. If it's good, it's worth doing. That's right. And to, and to put things in a box in a category really is kind of unfair. Well, you know, that's, that's earth. Yeah. That's, that's what happens, you know. So, you know, it, it actually is a great thing because I tell people, you know, a lot of people, they will uh, try to find a vocation. doesn't matter what age. And it seems like we live in the age that when people, you know, they're looking on the, on the Internet to, to find out what gig pays the most not taking into mind that you may hate that crap. Right. You know, so I tell people, whatever it is that you're gonna do, make it something that you enjoy doing. You know, something that, that you have a fervor for. Because, you know, we have to learn on Earth, everybody is important. Everybody, we need everybody. And I use the analogy how the garbage men in, of New York City brought New York City to its knees because they stopped picking up the garbage. And people were walking around with <laughs> nose clips. And, and, and I could just see the scenario, you know, hey girl, you know, Susan's old man, he's a garbage man, tee hee. <laughs> so w when they stopped picking up the garbage, then, wow, well, it's like, so they negotiated and everything. And, and then they started picking up the garbage again. 
and, and all was good with the world. <laughs> but dig, but now they, they are respected and they're no longer garbage men. What are they? Sanitation technicians. <laughs> so I just say that to say that, man, nobody's more important than anybody. We need everybody because everybody has a place, even Bunny Brunel. <laughs> Hi, Bunny. Hi, Bunny. <laughs> okay, except him. Everybody's important except. But yeah, you know, so, you know, and, and, and we're, we're so blessed to do music, something that we just love. Right. And um, that, that was one of the things about Earth, Wind & Fire's music, is that even the danceable songs or whatever, it still had a message, it's, you know, and uh, off. Yeah, yeah. It, that's what, yeah. It, it is timeless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, what's going on with you now? Like, um, I know that you're doing the anthology. Yeah, well, we've been doing Larry Dunn's anthology of Earth, Wind & Fire. Mm -hmm. But uh, before I actually started that, we did like two LDO, Larry Dunn Orchestra albums. Do they still call it LPs? L LPs? You know what? Those are coming back. Yes, she told me yeah. that four years ago, 700 percent. Mike, Mike, I think the mic. Oh, 700% <laughs> of the LPs. Increase, yeah, on Increase. the sales. Oh, okay. Percentage. So we did the first one, actually, again, for Japan. Um, what, what year was that? 90, you're good. 92, I'm sorry, 92. <laughs> 92. Yes. And uh, that was awesome. And so we did the second one uh, about four years ago, five years ago, Larry Dunn Orchestra. The first one was Larry Dunn Orchestra, Lover Silhouette. <laughs> And the newest one is Larry Dunn Orchestra. And to the journey. Yes. And we got some Luis's producing and writing and yeah. singing. We've got Ronnie Laws, Hubert Laws, James Ingram. Stanley um, Clark. Stanley Clark, Foley from Miles Davis Band, Manyango from Stevie's Band. We got enough people on there to make a Tarzan movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, we've got all different types of music. and. So we're doing the Larry Dunn's anthology of Earth, Wind & Fire because people say, well, they know who Earth, Wind & Fire is, but nobody knows you. I'm like, it's probably true. Yeah. That's so, not true. Well, but, but you know, <laughs> well, as you know, yeah. as, as when you're building a brand, it takes a lot of work and a lot of patience and yes. a lot of humility because you can't assume anything. Yes, this is true. Yes. This is true. So, you know, I think if you were to just put that afro back on, they'd know exactly who you were. <laughs> you know what? It was almost like that a couple of weeks ago. She's like, you're not going anywhere with me looking like that. You and she came at me with the scissors and I was scared to death. Well, well, it just shrunk. But so, so, but our real um, target is eventually to go out with the Larry Dunn Orchestra doing, of course, I will always do some Earth, Wind & Fire music, of course but uh, start doing some of our original yeah. stuff, you know? Matter of fact, uh, yeah. we're going on tour uh, this summer in Europe. So, um, and, and uh, we're gonna be performing with other musicians there. Yeah, we did that but, last, what, last yeah, year? Yeah, last year. Two years ago? Was it two years? No, we went to Macedonia. Macedonia. Yeah. And it was awesome. That was just called Larry Dunn and Friends. And it was just her and I, my younger brother flew out from Denver to do drums. And all the other musicians were from Denmark, London, Sweden, Switzerland, great musicians. And we had, what, like a couple of days to almost rehearse. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, see, that's one thing I always say about why I didn't do a lot of gigs in Los Angeles, because for whatever reason, people don't like to rehearse. And I tell people, with Earth, Wind & Fire, you take away Clive Davis signing us to Columbia, you take away uh, Bill Whitten with the fabulous clothes and uh, the the lighting and the, all the George Faison from The Wiz with the choreography, take all that away. And the, one of the key things of being why Earth, Wind & Fire is still one of the greatest bands is we rehearsed our butts off, yeah. you know, and it wasn't, I don't even think we had watches. Because, uh, you know, with, with uh, the Larry Dunn Orchestra, I got a couple of younger guys, right? And they're always up in here with the phone. But one day we were rehearsing at this church and Everybody's on the stage, and one of the guys was out in the audience, or you know where the audience would be on the phone. Said, I'm here. I'm rehearsing with Larry Dunn. I said, No, you're not. You're supposed to be up here. <laughs> you know, and I said maybe that's why bands were so great then because uh -huh. we didn't have all the distractions. Yeah, it's true. We were some rehearsing mother figures. Yeah. That's right. And uh, you know, so I say, you know, that's one of the things that made Earth, Wind, and Fire so great. You know, of course, we had great writers within the 
the immediate group, and then we would reach out to other writers, and we had the wonderful Charles Stepney producing with Maurice, writers like Skip Scarborough, Jerry Peters. So, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. It takes a lot. Yeah. Now, you're also here uh, as a representative uh, of Casio. This keyboard is Casio approved. <laughs> this is Casio approved. <laughs> You know, um, I would like to uh, bring this attention guy. to a Casio representative over here. Thank Hi, you. my <laughs> friend, my Casio brother from Casio. <laughs> Long time. Hi. So, no. um, tell me about Casio. Well, uh, you know, Casio has been in the musical instrument business for over 35 years, and this year at the NAMM show, uh, we're we have another anniversary of our Privia digital pianos, mm. and we're debuting a, a, some new models that uh, 15 years of Privia, the new PXS series is the latest, uh, redesigned from the ground up. Uh, you know, Larry and I met five years ago here at the NAMM show, um, and I think like a lot of musicians, uh, a lot of musicians grew up playing Casio. You know, they had one a portable keyboard in their bedroom. They they uh, wrote music. I had a Casio. And <laughs> remember, what was the first one? That, and and watches, and, what of, was the of first course. One? The, the little tiny. The little VL the tone. The VL tone, and there was the SK10. There was right. there were many, many, many. And uh, but the Privia piano line is something that's really transformed our brand uh, because we've brought something that has such amazing authenticity that feels like a grand piano mm. but it's also something that is affordable and can go anywhere uh, don't, don't forget 25 freaking pounds and 25 <laughs> pounds. See, when i was 13 lifting a b3 organ i weighed about 145 pounds <laughs> and when you're going into the gig all of the hey man come on let's help Dunn get the organ up there upstairs you know oh, when it was over it was just me and the, and the guitar player. Now, the guitar player was buff. I was oh God, I 145 hair and <laughs> eyes. And so now that I'm 190 pounds and grown up, they got this stuff here, 25 pounds. <laughs> weighted action like a grand piano. Oh, is, wow. Is, is that ridiculous? That is light. You know, we, actually, we were doing a gig in Japan, and, <laughs> and one of the roadies came to lift it up, and it almost flew up because he, he couldn't imagine it was that light. You know, yeah, so I mean, but, but. when we first debuted Privia 15 years ago, it was the first sort of in this low weight category, and everybody assumed, well, it's it's 30 pounds at the time. It couldn't possibly feel good until they put their hands on it, and so it's it's really a testament to Casio's engineering capability um, and technology capabilities that. Now, here 15 years later, we have the, the slimmest 88 note digital piano ever made, is, and it, the action is even at a, a whole this, nother level. I'm yeah. curious, what is this retail for? The, uh, the one we have here, uh, $599. That's ridiculous. On, this, <laughs> right. this is a, I'm telling you, this is a selling that. point. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Look this is that. a selling point. You can carry it like a pizza. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's absolutely amazingly portable. And in fact, one new thing with this current model is it'll also run on batteries. Right. So if you're, you know, the bass player, the bass, kick, so your friend kick, comes over with a guitar cool or you guys just want to sit mm -hmm. in the kitchen and work on a tune, you can just pick up the piano and, and take it anywhere and not have to worry about right. the fuss of, of hooking things up. It's just ready to go whenever you want to play. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I have a question for Louisa. Yes. Um, part of LDO. Um, just received an award um, for a yes, song that was on in, Into yeah. the Journey. Uh, tell, tell us about that. Well, um, the award was uh, given, uh, matter of fact, uh, last month. And... Um, it, it's, I thank my husband I know, nothing because to do with uh, you know, I, I thank God first and I thank my husband for his gifts and talent and for allowing me to participate on the project. And um, last month uh, I got awarded and I, before all the, the 55 dignitaries in the world came to the award for Art for, for Peace. Uh, with, Arts, um, Arts for Peace Awards. Yeah, Arts for Peace Award uh, with Mooney Ironi. 
It was and awesome. it's such a, a very humble. It was Song of the Year, right? The Song, Song of the, of the Year, year for yeah. Twilight yeah, World. The, the okay. Return the remake. It was a, a Twi remake for Twilight, Twi uh, Twilight World uh, Swing Out Sister. So it was right. such a amazing thing for me. I was just thrown. Uh, I mean, off. congratulations Thank on that. Thank you so much. I've, I've heard oh this. Oh my gosh. And, and I've heard this album. It, it is just authentically of the spirit of how it's good collaboration with the incredible musicians and beautiful vocals on that. Thank you so um, and much. And the background vocals are just, and Thank the arrangement, even though you, you stayed a, a lot true to the song. Exactly. You put, and I could hear the elements of your chord progressions yeah. and your harmonics in exactly. that. Exactly. I just so. want to say also, I want to thank the people who created the song, uh, yeah. Swing Out Sister. I'm, I'm a fan of theirs. And, uh, you know, when it comes to doing remakes, you know, you got to be, be so careful. But I have to say, yeah. this was done very, you know. You, you know, did it justice. Yeah, we gave it justice. You know, we, you know, we justice. did a remake of... Uh, yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire's Reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like she said, you got a lot of times people do uh, remakes and nobody cares. Right. But we did that because, you know, of course I played on the original. And Stevie Wonder got it and he actually called us and let us know how much he loved it. And then he came out on her birthday. Mm -hmm. We were performing in the Marina Del Rey. And he came and sat in with us for almost 45 minutes. Oh, wow, that's so yeah, nice. Yeah, so when Stevie calls you and says he likes yeah. something, you're like, I guess I've guess I done good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Larry will be featured in the next issue of Agenda, which will be coming out, not, we have one coming out now, but one that's coming out mid-March. Um, this is the magazine, yeah. everyone. Uh, we're, we're a, it's her magazine. We're at yes. agendamag.com, and we're also available worldwide for print. And is there anything you'd like to add or play? You want to end with a beautiful song or? Thank Intertalk TV. 25 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Now they come out with something. We'd like to thank Intertalk TV and Intertalk TV. Intertalk yeah. Radio, excuse Say me. Say it three times. <laughs> and Caffeine TV. <laughs> thank you, Cassie. Thank, thank you. you. Cassie, thank you, Kayleen. Four o'clock, we'll be over at Cassio and come check it out. Okay. Thank you, Kayleen Peoples. Yes. We love you guys. Next, thank Mr. you. Mr. Bunny Brunel. <laughs>